What's up everyone? So I was recently DM'd by Cal who asked me if I knew how to get this film strip border which has become a bit popular. So I found this Fuji film strip on Google and then I took it into Photoshop and I ended up masking out the portions that I didn't want which is what you guys are seeing here. This is one of the templates and I also decided to make a second template with just these strip borders. And here's that template. Here are also some examples I've made with both templates. Now let's start with this template which is the easier one to do. Once you have that photo that you want to use open, go ahead and drag this layer template onto that photo. Now click command T which will let you transform the template and now hold shift and drag the corner up to make this template bigger. We are going to hold shift as we do this so it keeps its original proportions because if we let go of shift we can still make it bigger but we're going to lose the original dimensions of that template as we expand it. Once you fit this template onto your photo you can move it up and down to get the portion of that template that you want to see on there. Once you're finished, you can hit layer and then hit flatten image and then go ahead and save this as whatever you like. Now for the second template, which is my favorite, I like to use three photos from the same set to give it that consistent film look. And I like to consider this middle photo my main photo that I work off of as you'll see right now. Once you have all three photos you want to use open, decide which one you want to make the main focus and photo. Since I'll be using this one as my main one, the first thing I'm going to do is double click the background layer so it gets unlocked and I'm able to move it in case I need to adjust it later as you'll see. Next, go ahead and drag the other two photos onto this working tab so we have all of them to work with. Once you've centered all of them, go ahead and give each of them a layer mask because we are going to be hiding certain portions of those photos later. Now dry the template and make sure it's on top of the list so it's not hidden under any photo. Once you've expanded the film template and have it set up how you'd like, the next thing you want to do is drag one of the photos down and decide what part of the image you'd like to show and this looks pretty sick to me so I'm gonna use this portion of the photo here. Now I'm gonna hide the rest of the photo that I won't be using. I'm gonna select the marquee tool and use it to box out the parts that I'm not gonna use. And then make sure you're clicked on the white layer mask box and now click the black brush and go ahead and hide this portion of the photo that we're not using. The reason why I use the marquee tool first and make that rectangle is so even if I brush beyond that point, nothing's going to be hidden outside of that box because I have restricted myself from affecting any portions beyond that point. So I do this so I don't accidentally hide any portions that I do want to show. It just speeds the process up and makes it easier. And now we're going to do the same for the top film portion. So go ahead and pick any part of the photo that you like and then repeat the process of hiding the portions that you don't want to show. The reason why we unlocked the main photo earlier was in case you wanted to adjust the center position of that photo, you could do so. I like how it looks already, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is, but if you want to move your photo, you guys can go ahead and do that in case you need to fit it to the composition. And that's practically it, and that's how you get the film border. Both film templates will be available for you guys to download in the description box down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also feel free to subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.